Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Distant Worlds Honorverse. So I, off camera, I went through the technology. I really was thinking about how can we get a our, our next tier ship, which is our, our cruisers. We'll make a light cruiser. And unfortunately, we are already maxed out at 300 size for our current tribal class destroyer. So it doesn't make any sense actually for us to build a new ship quite yet. We, we couldn't do anything new with it. It would just be the same. So I'm going to hold off. What I want to do is, um, I think it's in weapons. Yeah, we're already accelerating this. That's really important. Um, I also want to show you one other thing if I go over to the Solarian League. We're pretty far behind in weapons technologies, it turns out. So this, this. Ah, I'm losing my mind. After we get that, okay, I'm already, I already have the size built up next. After that, I think it's time for us to go into the better reactors. So that's what I want to do there. Over here we have quite a few things queued up because these are going to take a long time. But I'm not going to put any I'm not going to push any more with this. Basically, I think we want to I canceled the colonization research because there's just some other stuff we need to get done first. Um da, 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 da. I think this is okay. I mean, there's still four technologies, two of which are very high tier. Um, over here is certainly where we have to make up a lot of ground. So I'm putting this advanced blasters next, and then after that, I'm getting uh, our next tier of missiles. Because we're about to go to war, we're about to be wrapped up in a fight with the Handuinis, the fearsome pirates who just have defied our... <laughs> even when we give them money, they just turn it down to attack us anyway. So we will counterattack them in this episode, I, I assume. I mean, one thing I wanted to do was kind of wait for, um, I did want to wait for the base, the spaceport to finish at my colonies because those are very vulnerable, even though I am, I think I have uh, a defense fleet at each. You know, if they come in with a big enough group, we don't stand a chance. So, got some stuff going on. Oh, great. He's a poor speaker now. Hmm. Well, this is kind of funny. Uh, it doesn't really, really seem to matter. Diplomacy is worse, but with our worst enemy. Now, trade income increasing. Let's actually send this guy over to... I think I want to send him over to the Andermanis, which is Sekui. Let me just check real fast. Is it over here? No, these guys are at Seoul. But what's the name of their planet? Yeah, it is Sekui. Okay. Wow, uh, it's pretty big. Actually, everyone's planets actually are bigger than ours. So that's, I think, one of the reasons why. Oh, yeah, what I wanted to show you, that we're falling a little bit behind in terms of research. Okay, so I, I, we look at um, strategic value, and we are ahead. It just barely... But when I go to actually talk with the Solarian League, I was kind of looking at this off camera. If I wanted to swap maps or text, it shows us text we can sell to them. However, if I go to negotiate trade proposal, look at all the research they have that we don't. This is staggering. <laughs> and you'll notice that a lot of it is in the weapons area. So they have enhanced weapons, which, it, uh, um, excuse me, they have enhanced engines which I think is exactly what we're working on now, and advanced maneuvering is next up. So we don't have to worry about those too much. We're right about there, and enhanced hyperdrives is the next thing after that. We don't have hyperjump hyper inhibiting at all. But blasters, weapons, missiles, that's the one we are going to get soon. But way too much money, 7 million. I mean, this is some people make a killing on these kind of things. In fact, we ourselves want to make a killing right now. So that... Ah, oh, man, did they just buy something? At the end of the last episode, they had uh, 200,000. I don't think it's worth us, worth it to, for us to sell railguns for only 153,000. And they don't seem to consider a uh, equal trade. I mean, a same tier tech trade equal. Because Starfighters is technically on the same... Like, this technically should be uh, an acceptable trade, but if we did this and offered 100000 would they accept? No. Yeah, because they, they esteem the value at 755 
We'll just have a quick wait for them to get a bit of money. Although I really wish I was able to sell them tech now because then we could use that money to speed up things. So we have engines sped up and we have weapons sped up. There's nothing we need to speed up here, although it would help us get this wonder faster, which would help our weapons research faster. But um, right now we need an, just an injection of technology very quickly. So I also forgot, what is our trade stat with Endermani? We have no relation. Well, let's go ahead and get some uh, free trade agreement. Oh, they do, uh, I, um, that surprised me. Oh, that's because we're still negative with them. That makes sense then. Are we already trading with the Salesians? Yeah, free trade there. Mutual defense pack with Solarians. We probably should just get a mutual defense pack with the uh, Protector of Grayson, but I think sometimes it seems like these things work out better if you just let them come to you. So we'll let them come to us. I'll send my group over to the Salesians and their home planet is called, well, they're the red people, so I probably don't need to look at this, but let's find out. This surely is it, Re they only have one colony. Yeah, so they have a higher max population. You notice ours is 21 and a half billion. <clears throat> I actually edited down the um, planet size, the initial planet size to only be this because um, according to the lore, um, Manticore, the home planet is not huge by itself. So I don't mind it. it. It was, it's a planet population happens to be like the most important thing for like research. So it's extremely important, but I'm okay with it. I'm, it's it's okay if we just, you know, have a little bit slower research because we're going to be so on top of that with all the research bonuses we're trying to get. We should, uh, as you can see, we're already keeping pace and maybe slightly faster than um, like the Solarians or the Andermani. So, okay, Re is the place we want to send our diplomat because that should increase... Diplomat, diplomat, ambassador, that's what I meant. So let's get you over to Re instead. It'll take you a little while to get there, but that's okay. All right, so now, right now, what we have is we have the sixth, uh, the fourth fleet, which has seven ships. This is just waiting around Manticore right now, if I'm not mistaken. We also have um, the first fleet, which is our frigates. Those guys are patrolling. I want them to actually move to Manticore because I want them I don't want them to actually patrol because we don't need them to move around. I just want them to basically dock themselves at the planet. Okay, that's first fleet. Second fleet is at Sphinx. Perfect. This is what I want them to do. Just sit right on top of it. And I think Griffin may even have... Is their spaceport finished? Yeah, they're retrofitting. So they will very soon have... Um, more firepower and all that, which means that it won't be easy for the pirates to raid this population. And that's the good thing. That's what I'm hoping will happen with uh, Sphinx. And then we also have another fleet protecting Lahan. Now, these guys are a bit spread out, but maybe Lahan is just... Yeah, they're technically docked on Lahan. It's just uh, pretty small. And this thing has 95 left over. If I go to Sphinx, how far are you? 113, even worse. Okay, well, got some stuff finishing up here. Somebody completed their mission. That's fine. I want him to wait there. Um, this guy requires refueling, so why don't you just go refuel then? And any other notes? And I guess not. Yeah, this guy's already he's doing his thing. Good. So the plan for me is we will attack. Oh. Okay, the Bakuras high-speed shipyards has been completed. So now we have 200% uh, construction speed. I don't actually know. I've never really thought about this. If it's 200% faster, which actually would be 300% speed, or if it means it's just 200%, which is just would just be double the speed. 200% faster implies that it's plus 200%. Which it, it looks like that's what it's implying, that you get three times the speed at this colony, which is Manticore. So <laughs> Manticore will just be producing ships like hotcakes whenever we want. Oh, good. And we got the enhanced engine thing. Obviously, we really did not need to uh, buy that from the Solarian League. We got that so quickly. Uh, the By the way, I figured out, I mean, I've, I should mention, when you see the project size, so this one's like 600 
uh, the money cost for whatever you want is um, the remaining research divided by four. So this will take 150. I guess we already started it, so it's slightly less than that. And I think that that is going to be, wait, no. Actually, I need to make sure that we get the advanced blasters first. Although, okay, this is 600K and this one is 1200K. Yeah, so we need to put our money into the advanced blasters. So I'm gonna wait, just hold off on that for a little bit. Oops. Okay, Bright Odyssey completed their mission. Got a few more things to do. So go explore the nearest unexplored system, then Stellar Starwind. You, oh, you finished refueling, I guess. Go explore, what's the nearest? Okay, so well, why don't you just, actually, why don't you just go over here and explore everything in A2? Which is probably only those two things, but that's okay. Just trying to keep people busy. Oh, okay, so, hmm, not good usually getting a new leader. That means we have to retrain him after the last one was just doing fine. This one has population growth, good, that's good. Troop and military ship savings, negative, that's bad. But uh, colony income and population growth, I think I would take this trade off because colony income does eventually help us since we tax them and that should offset the maintenance cost. And we don't have like almost any troops at all. And the population growth is gonna increase the rate we get people who we can tax. So you know what, I'll take this one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, a lot of Anduinis just jumped in. So what I'm going to do is get my construction yard to start cranking out those tribal classes like hotcakes, like I said. Okay, so one, 18, three, I need four more. One, two, three, four. Let me just switch over, grab that, make that a fleet. I'm gonna grab some fleets of seven. Oh, uh, did I show you the mining stations? I think I talked about. Yeah, we have a, a steel shortage, that's right. So I, I need to actually find a new short, um, source of steel. It's not really, I think it's just a logistics problem getting the steel from the places we have to the place it, need, it needs to be. Because if I look over here, um, so, uh, yeah. So steel, it says that 41 and a half is in transit, whereas 21K is unfulfilled. Uh, we have in storage 54K, so more than these numbers. Yeah. And okay, so it says, uh, this is unfilled in the galaxy, I'm, I'm stupid. Our unfulfilled is like less than one. And I think that's just a logistics problem, but I'll still, um, we might as well manage it. Before we do anything though, let me not lose my train of thought, we need to go to military ships. It looks like we're being attacked. <laughs> that's what it looks like to me. They might, it's quite possible that they're actually just jumping on this one Salesian ship. We're about to find out. In fact, I'm gonna slow this down. So we have three here and we have six here. I mean, we have the first and the fourth, but those are three and six on my hotkeys. And I want the next fleet when it is built to be control seven. And I wanna get one more fleet as well. Because, well, uh, yeah, we have the, since we just upgraded, we have the yard capacity to do it. So might as well, Get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. And if they are actually attacking us, they picked a poor time to do it because we're, I mean, we're, uh, I guess our Maxos blasters aren't being upgraded yet. So this is actually the perfect timing for them if I think about it a little bit more. Right before our ships really hit their peak by getting that final tier in Max Maxos blasters. So here we go, there's another seven and set that to a new fleet, and we'll call fleet eight, uh, six. That'll be control, I think eight is, yeah, something I don't need, so control eight. Good. Now let's see what goes on. I think they are just attacking, yeah, okay. So 
this is what we are avoiding by having the 6,000 or whatever it is a month protection agreement. However, I, oh God, no, you picked the wrong time. Get out. Uh, yeah, however, I really need to retaliate against these guys and are they coming in closer? So what I need to do is get this fleet to just move. I want them to move so that they get a little closer together. If they attack right at Manicor, this is the best deal for us. No, it looks like they're going away. Let's have them just move to planet Manicor. I want them all stacked up in as tight a bundle as we can get. Because they fight a lot more effectively when they fight very close together. Okay, so do you just refuel? What's your nearest? Well, there's nobody going there, so... Oh, this guy doesn't have a mission. What's the nearest unexplored? There, of course. So this looks like it's explored. Is it? Yes. Is this? Yes. No, but do we have somebody in here? I don't know, actually. Oh, we have somebody going there. Yes. Okay, good. Finally. Oh, it only has one star. Well, fine. Go down and explore that one star. And you are now doing that. Okay, very good. So let's go back. Insert three, which is this. Let's see how things are developing here. They appear to be disappearing. Okay, well, that's good news. The Mossad and Theocracy have made a secret deal with a pirate faction, the Sinister Gangsters, to attack the ships and bases of the Handuini Company. Well, the warning them will earn their gratitude, but you know what? I will keep this information to myself. I have no love for the Masadans, at least according to lore. Personally, I, I mean, in this game, we haven't, they haven't done anything to upset me, but but I hate the Handoinis. Those are the ultimate enemy, so we'll keep this to ourselves. Actually, it wouldn't have mattered much. I guess warning them would have been fine. I myself should probably be paying off other pirates to go after them. If we look at the pirate landscape, how, how do things look? Handoinis have... 62,000, 6,200 firepower. Who can even rival that? Uh, that's a big number. Yeah, nobody can. Just nobody. They are the big, big boys on campus. Looks like the next best thing is the menacing sun buccaneers. I, can I fund you? I think I can only fund them if I request protection. What is this? I mean, 709 is fine. Let's just pay it. It's just pennies on our... Oh, our cash flow is really low right now, though. Um, okay, let's discuss something else. Oh, right, I'm doing it all wrong. So I can pay for whatever I want by going like this to maybe like a star base. And then I can assign a mercenary attack mission Ooh, 20,000, that doesn't sound that bad. Twenty thousand doesn't sound that bad at all, actually. But I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna um, cause the Handuinis to cancel their protection agreement with me, at least not yet. We need our ships to finish and a few other things. So keep pushing on. We do want to get to that. Okay, so let's see. That was that. We got long range lasers. Ships are starting to complete, but we're not interested in that. We need to get advanced blasters as quickly as possible. Basically, our entire money is going down to that. Cash flow is so low right now. I wonder why that is. It might be because the stuff is stalling. So let's go ahead and address that issue while, while we have a chance. Um, I think we have four things of steel. Yeah, goodness. Well, it's still, I mean, it's becoming a priority. So if we target now, when we have shortages, you can just go down to resource targets by your empire priority and it'll start listing some of the things which are interesting. So like this one has, um, let me just select it. So you can see it has a lot of things at pretty good rates. So we're looking at something which is about 200% altogether. Always a great thing if you can get something at 200% 
So we'll select this, go to target, and let me grab my construction ships. Looks like we have one that's free. Do I have zero occupied now? So let's do this. Just want to see where this guy is. Yep, he's right where he should be. So let's get him to build. First of all, make sure that there's no, yep, no luxury resources, just normal or mark three. Now the ironic thing, and this is why you need to make sure you have enough steel, is I won't be able to build a station to mine more steel without getting some steel, but you have a constant supply of steel even if you have one source. So eventually enough steel will get around. This is just, we're just trying to nip this in before the problem gets any worse. So let's actually go back there. I think there was other stuff that we needed. Um, no, it's saying that we're pretty much okay. This one has steel and gold. They're saying gold is also something we need. I think we just started getting it though. Like steel 61, 80 gold. So, so let me show it down there. 61 steel, 80 gold versus 39 steel, 81 Sorry, 39 gold, 81 steel, 67 iridium. Well, iridium's also on that list, but very, very, very few, very low amount of unfulfilled. I, I, I just, I'm a little bit surprised. We have so much lead, like silicon and carbon fiber. These are the ones I understand when we are lacking them. <laughs> it's very rare that you actually lack steel. <laughs> this is like uh, uncommon to say the least. Just why don't, for good measure, why don't we sort by galaxy priority the steel ones? You can see if anything else is nearby. Yeah, I mean, this one has pretty high steel, 81%, and gold and iridium. I mean, it definitely breaks the um, 120 barrier. It's like 180. And we do have one free. So we're going here already. This one's pretty good, too. Yeah, it is nearby pirates, but the pirates not it's not by the it's not nearby the pirates who don't like us, I think. Wait, Freya might be. That actually might be the Handweeny. So never mind. Let's neglect that one for the time being cuz <laughs> it'd be very bad to build a station in the Handweeny when we're just about Let me just get this one cuz I think it would be useful to do. So, go build or mark 3. Good. So we'll get those things done eventually. Oh, so he has gotten, look at that, mil This it made him organized, but also poor strategist. Oh no, the poor strategist was actually what he already was. Um, poor strategist has the negative 10 to troop maintenance and military maintenance, ship maintenance, but organized has the increase that you see at the bottom. Uh, military ship speed, civilian ship, and colony ship. So plus 10 to all those because of the construction of those ships we just did. And he's still increasing in his population growth, which is good to see. Somebody else finished their mission. So hard to keep up with these guys. Explore near system. Okay, we're going in there. Now, let's go down here. Have we explored all this? My god, we've explored everything. Goodness. Okay, finally, a system, a grid that we haven't explored. Okay, let me just make sure all this is going well. Character promotion. Okay, that's the one we looked at. Oh, good. Wow, his population growth now is plus eight. That's fantastic. Okay, he did this one, obviously. And the one next to it. I guess this one's done as well. <laughs> okay, another one. Where are you? Here, Sun Explorer System. Aha. Well, it looks like somebody's already exploring that. Why don't we get you to go somewhere else? How about up here? There's room in this world for everyone. Okay, so Kyoti Adventure has finished yes and this is on a planet which is more steel well very good 
We might have actually overdone it with the mining stations now, but that's okay. I mean, if they're over 120%, your private economy should make money on them. So it shouldn't matter. It may not be a high priority, but it shouldn't be a bad thing. So get them to move back. We're still repairing that cruiser way over here <laughs> in uh, Silesian space. Oh, I need to make sure. So these guys want to swap maps. Sure, why not? Another person finished their mission. I need to go back to the Silesians after this. Well, I need to go through all of them, really. I need to make sure that we're giving refueling access. Wow, the nearest unexplored system is way over here. Okay, fine. I'm fine with that. So, yeah, let's jump through. Make sure everyone has refueling. Uh, refueling. Very good. Um, okay. Refueling. Not you or you. Da, 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 da. Wait, do we not do we not give these guys? Well, we'll give you military refueling. I'm not going to give them mining rights. I don't like that. Actually, mining rights is fine. It just means their civilian ships can come mine. It doesn't mean that they're going to build a mining base. But I'm still going to restrict them because I prefer... I mean, they're already friendly enough with us. I don't think we need to make those kind of um, concessions. And you... We are going to give you refueling rights. And why are we not in a free trade with the Why? What do you guys have against us? Okay, well, whatever. Suit yourself. We're already making plenty of money, I assume. Although our cash flow has just completely nose-dived. I can't explain why. It must be the taxes that we're drawing. 300k, this must be down? Wait, let me see. Okay, well, we can actually charge higher taxes because they're only, they're at plus one. 21, I should say. What does this do? So now they're at plus 19. Good God, these guys. I don't really want to go any higher, but I guess I will. Okay, 17. That's the magic number. I'm going to go to 51 because I want to err a little bit on the side of caution. But goodness gracious. <laughs> that's a lot of money. I really don't know. Oh, God, no. Yeah, make sure nobody's... These guys aren't being taxed. Very good. Okay, so that's all good. I don't understand where the cash flow dropped from. I, I'm trying to figure it out. Ah, oh, he's sober. Sober gives plus 10% espionage, plus 10% counter espionage, and plus 10% sabotage. And he's already an elite speaker. That this guy is a This guy's a real gem. Maybe it's time to start sending some of these guys out on missions. Let's get this guy. Um, we might as well try to train him up. Seems like the Handuinis, well, pirates are actually harder to do. Than, let's get them over to the Masadans, who are very backwards, so I just want to steal their territory map. This is usually the best one. Yeah, base 7%, assign, go get him, champ. Oh, uh, I forgot, Do we? are we doing this? We are, we did that. Advanced maneuvering, 63 yes, yeah, do it very quickly. And this, do we have enough money for this? No. What about the Solarian League? Will they, are they willing to trade us yet? I mean, basically, do they have enough money? <laughs> See how are you guys doing? 180, is it worth it? Oh, what the hell? It looks like they decided to research that technology. Hmm. Well, if we wanted to just gift them a really strong technology, which I'm not really keen on doing. We might be able to get starfighters at least or something like that. Hmm, I guess it's not really worth it. Okay, fine. Uh, what I like to do is sell other people technology. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to be buying technology. Yeah, but they only have 180 and that's not really worth it for these. So, okay. Fair enough. I'm 
I'm not even going to check the other people. Just by assumption, I don't think that they have. Wow, that's interesting. Andromani's giving a gift of 20,000. That's significant. So we can't. Uh, we don't have any relation with them, the Andromani, so we can't really do anything. If they don't even want free trade. <laughs> well, tough luck. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, that sucks. What system is this? Dagobah. <laughs> Could it be Dagobah? <laughs> Certainly what it looks like. All right, so you have five components damaged. Thank God none of them is hyperdrive, so go repair it near a shipyard. Okay, they want to offer this. We'll accept. Territory trade doesn't sounds fine to me. Construction ship has finished its mission. Very good. Um, we there might be a different technology that we're not really focusing on that could be useful. Let me just sort by sources because um, there are some with zero. Plenty of luxury. Resources at zero, actually. I'll probably go off camera. I'll come back to this list. And I'll just try to see if there's any of these luxury resources in our sphere of influence. Our green sphere. And if there are, I'll go ahead and take them. Oh, it looks like the Masadans have actually expanded now. And that's getting very close to our, well, I'm calling it our cluster. So I do take a little bit of offense to that. Yeah, yeah we, we probably do. Let me just see what they recommend for us right now. Nothing. So they think that we're doing fine now. I'd agree. I mean, that's how I felt from the very beginning. That shortage of steel was probably just a, a hiccup in the logistics. Okay, so not that. Yeah, they really don't have very good recommendations for anything. Uh, see, this is... 83, 75, that's pretty good, 150. Yeah, but I'll, I'll look at this off camera and then we'll we'll give orders to the Kyoto Adventure after that. Because we're just about time to call this video to a close. And, okay, here's advanced maneuvering. How far are we from advanced blasters? Still pretty far. That might be a good thing though, so let's, okay, hold on, but territory map swap, yes, we accept. Um, somebody completed their mission. Okay, well, somebody's already going there. Can you explore? Damn it. Well, go over, is there anything here? No, anything here? The Solarian League is serious business. They have explored everything. They have colonies everywhere. I'm very, very, very happy that we are not enemies. So go over there and help the Solarians explore. Somebody else completed their mission. Oh, great. Well, we already know where he's going to go here. Oh, good. Well, do that then. Yeah, this is the damaged one. It does need refueling, but it's just going to have to drop down to um, slower speed. Okay, you are now done. Yeah, you are. Very good. Okay, well, come on home. Home, insert, I number one, this guy. Okay, we another guy finished their mission too. Now just move to Planet Mentor. Okay, Kyoto Adventure should already be here. She is. Daunting Discovery did Daunting... Wow, they both finished at the same time. So that means this mining station is up and running. Very good. Okay, go back. Have all of them at planet. Oh, another monetary gift. Wow, so Grayson is obviously extremely poor. <laughs> Their gifts are just tiny. Somebody else finished that. Oh my gosh. Okay, that seems a bit absurd. By the way, I do, after everything is explored, some people try to make use of their exploration ships after that. I scrap all of them. 
I will scrap every single exploration ship. Not true, not true, not true. I will always keep like three, but I will scrap most, oh God. Okay, slow it down, here we go. So, somebody's under attack. Sphinx. Okay, this is fine. Let's get reinforcements here. By the way, I want this not to be system targets again, like I said, it's just, uh, it's too far. So let's just take a look at our defensive sphere right now. The frigates can help with Manticore's massive space station. Now again, other space stations you're going to see have fire powers maybe close to a thousand. Mine does not because I'm really going to rely on the offensive weapons of my ships. It's mainly just supposed to be wait and hold out until um, the military shows up, until the cavalry arrives. So three, four is waiting at Sphinx. This is actually the where we're going to end up fighting. So let's have them focus fire on one at a time. Okay, you guys are, yeah, well, please move back to the planet. Probably gonna be attacked any moment now. So that is five. Six is at Manticore, but we will redeploy them. Oh, God. God. They're everywhere. Now Griffin is defending itself, but we're gonna go... Okay, the fourth fleet is gonna go here. Wait. I have plenty. Okay, good. So this, this will work. So fourth fleet is going... Wait. I just sent you guys. I assume... Good. So fourth fleet, I need to see that actually. It's a shame it doesn't update instantly. So this is there. Okay, fourth fleet going there. You guys are already going here. Uh, you were off defending system targets because I didn't have this turn to whatever. Okay, well fine. That's okay. You're allowed to be a little goofy. Okay, let's have. Fifth fleet, go to these guys. So fourth, fifth, and now sixth fleet. I don't, you guys are all here. Let's have sixth fleet. It should be a priority, but uh, well, this is too many ships. So we're gonna have to wait for them to come to us. And when they do, they'll be kind of splintered. Where are they gonna come to? I think that they'll come to Griffin first. So I'm gonna send sixth fleet over here to reinforce at Griffin. Although, belay that, let's actually send this force. No, there's already two over there. So there'll be two at each if we send it over to Griffin. That's fine. Even though one is less enforced. I made my new, my strike teams are with seven, but my defensive groups are usually with less. So let's make sure that these guys are attacking this guy. And here we go. Looks like we're gonna win these battles. This is just a frigate. Yeah, it's just a frigate, so we shouldn't have any problems with this, although he's going to take some shields damage, which is not good, just because we're going to need those shields when the rest of the boys arrive. And where are these guys going to go? Okay, so they're going to destroy this station. It is not long for this world. Maybe, maybe we could try to hold it off. Okay, we will. Let's go keep them busy, at least. We almost surely won't get there in time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, so second fleet has just gotten something. Oh god, does that oh this is Sphinx, okay. Okay, move back to the planet after it's done. I think that's done. So do we take any damage? Yeah, uh, this is not going to get there in time, but. It's only halfway down, but so many ships. 
Uh, if we get there, these are a lot of frigates, so it's like there's a small, like on a wing and a prayer. <laughs> yeah, they're disappearing. They're actually getting out of there before they did. Okay, so important that we now stop our attempt with these guys. You now do have to redeploy. Actually, we'll stop them manually en route. This is kind of a funny trick. Okay. Yeah, well, we know we need to go here now anyway, so just move here. Great. And we did reinforce this place already. So the war begins. Focus fire, always the name of the game. Focus fire. And there should be... No, I didn't because Griffin itself is defended. So we need... Yeah, we need these guys to come in. I'm not going to change their movement orders so that they get there a little bit faster. Griffin is well defended. Just hug planet Sphinx. And I think we might redeploy Fifth down to help out as well. Because it looks like all their attack is going to Griffin. Yeah, we will we'll pay for this protection agreement, sure. Yeah, and the cash flow is way back up. I don't know what happened to cause it to pause for a bit, but whatever the case is, it's getting better now. Okay, we need to, I need to micromanage because this is actually close enough that we need to micromanage. Oh, it looks like we're actually gonna uh, survive this one. I need to also check and make sure that my group at Lahan isn't being assaulted. They are doing okay so far. And we are getting a few of them, which is good. Well, you know what this means. It's time to counterattack. Unfortunately, they have the advantage that all their ships might be... This is the really, really cool thing, and the thing which is totally uh, modeled in the Honorverse book series as well. We can both launch our fleets. They can pass each other like two ships crossing in the night, passing in the night, without being any the wiser, and I can end up at their planet destroying their planet while they're at mine destroying mine, which is so cool because, uh, I mean, it just adds very an interesting dynamic that you can't see in hyperspace. Now, we're going to be very cautious about this because, you know, losing would be very bad. So what I'm going to do is create yet another fleet. One more. And this is going to be only to help me pr protect our home system here in case they come with all these. I mean, who am I kidding? They are definitely going to come and attack. So this will be a new fleet. How do I want to do this? Who do I want to send to attack? Because sending the frigates would be madness, but I do want to actually send the frigates. <laughs> Uh, hmm. I think we'll put the pause in here, though, for the video. And I'll I'll just think about it off camera. But we've held our first attack. We've uh, counterattacked a little bit. We're probably going to start losing uh, various mining facilities, but what we need to do is go and we need to hit... No, wait. This is... This is a Keratos Outlaws. They're actually good. Oh, they're there. Okay. Yeah, we need to go and we need to hit this... Uh, small spaceport over here to ruin their ability to operate very safely in this area. So that's what we'll do. But thanks for watching this episode. I will play that out in the next. And uh, until then, take care.